It's a good afternoon and welcome to Queen Sports Club in the city of Kings, Gwoblawayo. And we welcome you to this Zimbabwe versus Namibia T20 series. So this is the first game of the five that are lined up. I think the, the most important thing is just uh, not to go too hard. That's a beautiful yeah, shot. From Wesley Madevere. Clipped off the pass. That's the first boundary. Four runs to Wesley. Four runs to Zimbabwe. Middle stump. Ah, oh, shot! Went over the head of the bowler. Full face. Another boundary to end the over. Pulled again. This one comes off the middle of the bat from Wesley Madere. It'll run away for four. Score on the offside and the onside. Again, straight up. Wesley. Gonna pick up four. Good shot. Again up and over. Will this go all the way? Just one bounce over the boundary. Another four. Up, up and away. Man coming under it. Taken. Wesley Matevere looking to go over mid off. But didn't time it too well. On a different note, that uh, Wesley has left the field. Register cover now taking the opportunity to open up. He hasn't timed it well today, but uh, finally gets the break. First boundary there in the power play effort. Brilliant. Brilliant. Absolute brilliant. Zimbabwe losing the second wicket and that. Slightly quicker, but short. And uh, Sekanda Raza, easy pickings for that. Just from the city end. And that's an amazing shot from Craig Irvin. He's had the length, he's been given the length, but he still had to put it away. And that's the beautiful pull shot from Sekanda Raza. Partnership for Zimbabwe, this one. A uh, really beautiful shot from Craig Irvin. Gets it fine. Behind square on the leg side. And that's a cracking pull shot from Skanda Raza. And another really great fielding effort. Not as successful this time. Deep mid wicket. And that's that very nicely played. Intelligent shot from the captain. That's close. Given LBW, Sikanda Raza. That one just seems as if it was pitching on middle stump, not turning too much. Gives himself room. Just bounces. Did it carry? Seems as if it carried to the man in, in the covers. Milton John. Another one, big one from Craig Over. Splits the two fielders. Four runs. Goes for another one straighter. Big hit. Six runs from Kirgovine. Tosses up. Big one from Craig. Clears with ease the boundary. Six runs. And, and that will get him past 50. He needs to finish off good for the. Tries to go big. Good ball. Squeezing a single. Wait, Zimbabwe setting a total of 154. A target for Namibia to come in and chase. In that effort, Craig Irvine leading from the front. Captain's innings of 55 off 39 balls. But so, finishing off 154. It's a top edge. And it's the first boundary of the Namibian innings. And to add salt to injury, it's a no ball. It's short, it's pulled and it's pulled long. Right in front of square on the leg side, and the fielder, Brendan Mofford. I can only watch that sail for the first maximum. Square cut. Wasn't much room, but I'll tell you the brilliance. 
the brilliant of uh, Devin and Latok. The ball that loose delivery that has costed them. We're talking about uh, costing Mbappe Burling attack. Donald Tripano short wide. And Craig Williams certainly does not miss out on a cut shot. Once again, we talk about how Zimbabwe and bowling and with ease has just given the Namibian batting attack, bowling effort, easy boundaries. Not a good start once again. Uh, something we saw similar than earlier when Namibia pushed on the ball. And that's too short and it's been pulled away. It's gone all the way to the boundary from Lacock. He moves to 34 of just 21 deliveries to the pitch this morning. That there were more bare ends. Is that top edge? And that's the wicket taking delivery. And it's Wesley Madevere. And Brandon Mavuta gets Zimbabwe's breakthrough. It's Craig Williams. Gone for 25 of 33. And Namibia finally are 67 for 1. Who hasn't found that consistency in his own approach but however as they have an opportunity yeah what a brilliant catch i'll tell you that is a brilliant field and we spoke about how the fielding has been good all day today after this i'd like to thank uh, craig Irvin will look to ball him to reverse sweep tonight Chitara, can he stop that unfortunately he can only chase and watch it go down into another boundary what a brilliant shot to toss it divine is a good striker but this time balls it short and gets the maximum full treatment it needs to be if uh, Namibia are to grab this one. And what do you know? What do you know? Lofty Eaton just trying to run down. And what a brilliant change of pace from Milda. Found his way in making sure he's used to the conditions. Another huge strike. Can he stop it? And it's a maximum. And it's that man again. Divock. It's in the slot. Will he get the man? Clears with these six runs to Divine Lecoq. And uh, what that helps is to keep up to the, the run rate. It's aerial. Brilliant. Brilliant catch from Luke Jongwe. This is the man that uh, Zimbabwe needed. And Milton Shumba, what a day he's having with the ball in hand. Pulled Short. away. And a run away for the boundary. Eases the pressure on Namibia that go Brilliant. Spoke about Yorkers. And Clock what do you know? Give it. Strikes Tendai Shatara. Picks up her wicket in his second ball of the last over. Brilliant. Brilliant bowling from Chatara. Donald Tirpano. They come back for two. A good field in the panel. Jongwe Oka. And it's the last baller of the Namibian innings. And what does that mean? It's just a single. And Zimbabwe victorious in this first T20 international here at Queen Sports Club. The first between these two. And Zimbabwe win this one. Quite